Okay guys, what we got here is, as we said, my Glock G40, 10mm, Gen 4 right here. It's unloaded, no my again. And we've got the red dot by ADE Advanced Optics. Got the mountain plates, got the screws that came with the mountain plates. And this is just out of my little tool set right here. I like using things like this when I'm putting scopes on the stuff better than the little torque wrench that comes with it. I feel that it's better when I'm tightening it up that sometimes you can actually krill these a little and you can strip the heads out of these little screws right here and that can make for bad business when I can use this right here and get a good firm grip on it and just torque it down. It doesn't need to be on there like extremely, extremely tight to a point that you can strip the screw or the head of the screw. Just get it torqued down and you'll be good to go. Now I've got oil also. I've got some Q-tips. And uh, let's put this on. Uh, right here is the cut slide right here. Uh, the MOS. I've done took one of the screws out to speed it up a little bit. I'm going to take the other one out. And just lay it over to the side. Get the plate off. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to check these out. These are 5 through 8. For different styles of red dots that's out on the market and as you can see right here in the little red dot it's got four openings right here and the number five right here it's got the four little studs sticking up right here so that'll be the one that will go with this red dot right here that I'm going to be using and what I like doing is putting it on there, making sure how it lines up before I get ready to start putting the oil on and bolting it. And this is how to be setting right here on, on the plate. Now what I'll do, I'll just take this, take my oil, any kind of gun oil that you got will work. It doesn't have to be a Pacific brand in my book. And I'll put a little bit of oil on a Q-tip. And all I'm going to do right here on the slide is just oil it down. Just get some oil in there where this base mount's going to be going. Keep from any rust, rusting that may try to occur. I like a thicker oil, it lasts longer. That's also what I clean my gum with. And then the next thing I'll do, and I'll go to the plate mount, and I'll just put a little on it too. And then I'll go ahead and install the plate onto the handgun. And these little screws have done got uh, pre Loctite on them. And then I'll just screw them down. That's good right there. Like I said, you don't have to torque these down to a point of stripping the head off or breaking the screw. Okay. Next, I'll just add the red dot. Get him lined up. Get them in the place on there. Then I'll just add the top screws to it. And there you go. It's as simple as that. The dots on the handgun now. Looks pretty good on the handgun. What I like about it is how it lines flush with the handgun. There's no hangover on either side of the handgun right here. Eventually I'll get me some uh, suppressor sights to go on my handgun to lift it up over the dot in case something must happen to the dot while I'm out in the field. I'll still have arm sights. But that's for a later video. Right now, everything is locked down tight.
she's ready to go out and let's take her out and let's zero us bad boy in Randy with Trackham KY. We're over here where we do a lot of shooting and uh, we're getting ready to test out this little red dot side on this Glock 10 millimeter. It's an ADE Advanced Optics and uh, we're getting ready to zero it in right now and uh, we've never shot it and see if we can get the zero and then we're going to put it to the test. We'll be shooting there at 15 yards just to get her zero. We've got a target set up out there. And uh, let's shoot and see if we can get this baby sighted in. He will be shooting Freedom Munitions, 180 grain full metal jackets. Uh, let's see if we can get this baby sighted in. Well, zeroing is done. Um, I didn't have to touch a screw. Proof's in the pudding. <laughs> this is a two-shot group. Uh, and we've got a GoPro set up here to catch the bullet impacts. I swear on, a, on my pistol. <laughs> That's my first two shots with this. With this ADE red dot sight. And I'm really impressed. And... Uh, we're shooting Freedom Munitions, which is not a, the most expensive bullet you can get, but it's a apparently a very accurate bullet. And we have a Glock 10 millimeter here mounted on. It's got an aftermarket barrel. This is a Lone Wolf, made for shooting heavy cast bullets. And uh, that's it. Uh, don't forget to watch the video on the unboxing, and we're going to have another video shooting a little bit of long range. So, uh, this is Randy with Trackham KY, signing off, ADE.